was a place with all the zip of milk and cola. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC Nuka World. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show us how to acquire the unique Disciples Blade quite appropriately known as Throat Slicer. And of course to acquire this weapon you will need the Nuka World DLC installed. Now acquiring this weapon is incredibly difficult. What we'll need to do is head to the Nuka Town Market. On the pit -Boy map this can be found to the south of Nuka Town USA. Once in here we need to head to the southern side side of the market where the Brahmin are found. Here we will find the vendor known as Caitlin Alden. Once we find her we need to speak to her and click on barter. Once the trading window opens we need to go across to the weapons tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom to throat slicer. Now this weapon is pretty damn expensive but it is well worth it and the price of the weapon will of course vary depending on your character's current charisma level. As always before modding out the weapon and checking out its base stats I have reduced all my character's special attributes stats to one and I also have no bobblehead or magazine effects applied however I do have some perk effects applied specifically the big leagues perk and the reason for this is to make some of the modifications we need five out of five with the big leagues perk so although this will affect the damage of the weapon we can do some very simple mathematics to find out the actual base damage of throat slicer so don't ye worry about that so now let's mod it out and there's only one modification slot and only one modification we want to put into to that slot, which is the Cutlass Blade. This makes the target bleed and gives exceptional damage. So once that incredibly process of acquiring it and modding it out has been completed, we will end up with the Throat Slicer, which has a ballistic damage of 77. But don't forget the damage is being doubled to give us this 77. So if we half 77, we end up with 38.5, which would be the actual base damage of Throat Slicer. So Throat Slicer has a base ballistic damage of 38.5. It's Speed is fast, its weight is only 3 pounds and its value is 3,452 caps. Up the top we can see Throat Slicer, plus 25 bleed damage over 5 seconds. Okay, so the Throat Slicer. How do we ease into this? I suppose we don't. The Throat Slicer is probably the best melee weapon in the game. Once I got all of the appropriate melee damage increasing perks, such as Blitz, Rooted, Big Leaguer's perk, the Lone Wanderer perk, perk, bloody mess perk. Once all that stuff has been put into the perk tree, I got throat slices damage up to 437. Now that is a lot of damage for a single swing of a knife. Now take note of the fact that it's a knife, which means it has a fast swing speed as we saw before. So you can swing a knife around really quickly and each hit does 437 damage. So straight up on just damage per hit, it is massive. But the important thing is the fast swing speed, which gives it a huge DPS. Now on top of this, it does plus 25 bleed damage over five seconds. Now these bleed damage effects actually stay so although it's probably impossible, if you say hit an enemy four times in one second, they would get four stacks of the bleed effect, in turn doing 100 bleed damage over five seconds, because there's four stacks of the 25. This stacking bleed effect can drain enemies health quite quickly and help you end them faster than normal. Now on top of that, the Cutlass modification which we put on the Throat Slicer also brings another bleed effect. Unfortunately, I don't know how much damage that is, but regardless, it's just extra bleed damage on top of the already pretty decent bleed damage on top of the already pretty crazy per swing damage. So I'll save you the maths but a critical hit with throat slicer once you perk it out the way I did and end up with a damage around 400 to 430 a critical hit is going to do 1830 damage. Now provided your luck's pretty high or you're using this on like a crit build you're going to be doing a crit like every five attacks maybe. Now that's a lot of damage 1831 damage. If you have the ninja perk fully maxed out, you're going to be doing sneak attacks for 4,370 damage. Now if you're sneaky enough, you can do this for every single attack. So that kind of damage is definitely not something to be looked over. If you do a sneaking critical attack, you're going to be doing 6,200 damage. So yes, the throat slice is probably the best melee weapon in the game. 
There might be someone who knows better than that, but as far as my calculations can tell, this is a pretty wild weapon. Doing big crits, massive sneak attacks. If you combine them together, you pretty much can one-shot anything. And then, if you're not sneaking and you're not doing crits, you're still doing 430 damage per hit. Really quickly, because it's got a fast swing speed. Then also applying that bleed effect. Yeah, the throat slicer. So yeah, I pretty much couldn't more highly suggest using the throat slicer. Of course, for a melee build. An absolutely fantastic weapon. This weapon's so brutal, I'm getting a sore throat just talking about it. If you need to assassinate a butcher from a distance, use this weapon. You can throw it slicer. Because the throat slicer is so fun to use, you'll constantly be looking for your next victim. It's ahead of its time, it's purely cutting edge. This weapon's the best thing since sliced, well, head. You probably already knew this, but it's just knife to know. And here it is, the throat slicer in action. And no, not on me. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique Disciples Blade known as Throat Slicer. I do hope this video helped you out in some way, and if it did, I think you will be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If at the end there you wish this weapon was being used on my throat, please please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can also be found in the description or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. And with all of that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here with me and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second. <laughs>